Welcome to my podcast, Apollonia Studio 6. We had had a break at Christmas time. Came back together out in the Midwest somewhere at a university. And um, I, one of the other jobs I had was taking care of his wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Making sure things were clean, setting things up every night. Um, just you know, whatever it was he needed in that respect. And um, he come in. I had set everything up. And um, he came in, sat down at the table where his hair stuff was, had a little boom box on the table, sits down and starts, puts a tape in, a cassette tape, because we didn't have CDs then. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't CD time yet. It wasn't even cell phone time yet. No. <clears throat> but, um, and starts playing some rough recording of Stand Back mm. by Stevie Nicks. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I recognized her voice right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And um, when you sing, and I, I had been singing most all of my life, you just sing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take you very long to pick up mm -hmm. stuff, you know. And um, I started singing along. Once I got this stand back, stand back. Mm -hmm. Um, part of it, I was kind of singing along and because while I was doing my other stuff in the room, not knowing that he was hand in the air with a curling iron. <laughs> listening to uh -huh. you. <laughs> and looking at me in the mirror and uh -huh. like, okay, yes, and listening. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, he says to me, just turned around and he pointed to me and said, you could be the other hooker. <laughs> Damn! Can you imagine? Wow! Somebody wow. calls you a hooker. A hooker. <laughs> you know, I just stopped dead in my tracks and I looked at him and I said, Yeah. <laughs> See? Oh, man. And I turned around and I'm doing something with his shoes or whatnot and I'm just saying, Hooker. And I said, that ain't right. That's right. <laughs> you know? And I said, Where is this going to go? Wow. You know? And he said, I'm kidding. I'm serious. I'm, I'm not kidding. And Roy had, had mentioned to me that um, he had a lot of ideas. That he wanted to work on a lot of different things. And one thing, he, was, he had ideas about a girls group kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Roy had been a fan of mine as a vocalist mm -hmm. for very, very long time. So Roy and I had known each other quite a long time before we were even married. Yeah. And, um, he was a big fan. He used to come and listen to me, and um, I he wanted to. I wasn't doing anything musically at the mm -hmm. time, and he wanted very much to see me get back into the fold somehow. Mm -hmm. So he really didn't. He didn't push anything. He just kind of dropped a few little mm -hmm. bombs here yeah. and there, a little few little hints and stuff. Yeah. And and I just. Um, but when Prince says you could be the other hooker, I had no idea that's what he was talking about. <laughs> he already had one hooker. <laughs> Wow. So uh, he, he said, um, he, he, when he told me he was serious, he gave me a little, and I said, okay, well, what are you, what are you actually talking about? And um, he, t he gave me some, some information. And um, I said, all right, can I think about that? Uh -huh. And he said, uh, he said, yeah. And I said, I am married, so I have somebody else to consider here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said, that's all right. And um, then all of a sudden, Chick comes in the room. Mm -hmm. Oh, big Chick. Mm. <laughs> and uh, Prince says to him, what do you think? She could be the other uh, hooker in the band, the other singer in the band kind of thing. And I'll never forget, I can still hear the sound of Chick's voice look, turn around looking at me and going, she's sure pretty enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, and I just oh. said, well, thank you. I can hear him. <laughs> I can hear him. <laughs> you know, he's, he was such a so larger than life guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Welcome to my podcast. Apollonia Studio 6.